Hey, welcome. I'm going to try to do a quick video on using your calculator. Now, there are tons of different types of calculators, but they really break down into two categories. So I'm going to sweep all these away and start talking. Okay, so first of all, here's a calculator. Now, your calculator might not look exactly like this, but if your calculator doesn't have sine, cos, and tan buttons, then you can't use it. It's pretty much junk. But don't throw it out. Give it to a math teacher. They could use it for their grade 9 kids. All right, so uh, let's go into step one, testing it. Okay, test your mode. Now, what I mean by test your mode is you need it in degree mode. So all your calculators have to be in degrees. Now, where do I check that? Well, I check it up here. You can't really see that, but that is not a D, and it should be a D for degrees. Now, what I'm testing, though, is I'm going to take the sine of 30 and hit equals. The sine of 30 should always give you 0 0.5 or 1 half. Now, technically, you could test the tan of 45 equals 1 or the cos of 60 equals 0 0.5, but I usually just use the sine of 30. Those would be good to memorize, maybe for later, like grade 11. OK, so switch modes. How do I switch modes? Well, in this calculator, I change my mode using the mode button. Mode, 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 mode. Hit it a bunch of times, and there's degrees. Bam, now I'm in degrees. I hit equal again, and it gives me the right answer. Calculator, check. On most calculators, so your mode switcher, as we'll call it, is just a DRG button. On that last calculator, it was a mode button. So slide this calculator up into view. I'll just move it over here. And you can see this button right here is DRG. So when I turn it on, well, I'll clear it first. Uh, oh, wait. That's also how I can tell if it's in degree mode. It says DEG on this calculator. So by hitting the DRG button, I can now choose between degrees, radians, and gradients. Now, we're going to use degrees this year. You're going to use radians later. And if you get into the French artillery, you might use gradients. Or they might have stopped doing that 100 years ago. I'm not sure. Um, so DRG button. Test it. Sign 30. Bam. Uh, this button also has a calculator. Sorry. Also has a DRG and has a degree. Easy. This one is a little bit more difficult. I've got to go into setup for this one. Now, it looks like that's G up there, so I hit Shift. And then I hit Setup, and there's Degree there. This one's already in degrees. Has a DRG button down here. And this little guy is in grads. So DRG. Degrees, DRG rads, grads, flipping into degrees, take 30 and hit sign. So this calculator actually goes backwards. And this is what I mean by two types of calculators. Some calculators, calculators that have a display up here that actually show you what you're punching in, give you just a straight answer. So you punch it in straight, sign of 30. Calculators like this or this, you have to punch in in the opposite order. So I punch in 30 and then hit the sign button and now that's taken the sign of 30. All right, so let's get solving. We are going to make sure that you can solve for the sides, multiplying and dividing. Remember that x on top, x on bottom, and solve for the angles. Okay, so I did the work first already. So let's say we had, well, let's cover this one up. Let's say we had the sine of 20. And that's equal to x over 10. Now, what do I do? I multiply both sides by 10. These 10s cancel out. This 10 comes up here. And I get 10 times the sine of 20. So how do I do that? Well, on this calculator, I'm just going to cover this stuff up so it doesn't distract you. On this calculator, I'm going to have to punch in 10 times 20 and hit sine. Why is that? Well, because that will take the sine of 20 which is that answer. But that's not the right answer here. That's not the 3.42 that I want. So I have to hit equals still, because it hasn't done the multiplication until you hit equals. So hit equals. Done. Let's go to an easier calculator. Get one of these. You can just punch it in exactly as you see it. 10 sine 20 equals. Bam. How much easier is that? A lot. Next one. So with this little guy, just like the other calculator, you have to punch it in backwards. So you have to punch in 10 times 20, and then take the sine of 20, and then hit equals. 
That answer look right? Yipper. Okay, now, what happens when, well, let's cover this up just because I didn't start this right from there. I started from here. Cos of 42 is equal to 12 over x. When x is on the bottom, I multiplied both sides by x. It cancels out. It comes, the x comes up over here. I divide both sides and end up with this. So x is equal to 12 divided by cos of 42. How do I do it on this calculator? Well, I do 12 divided by the number, so divided by 42, and then hit cos. That is the cos of 42. It has not done my division yet until I hit equals, and then I get 16.1. So multiply or divide by the number, hit the sign cos or 10, and then hit equals. Or get a better calculator. So with this calculator, 12 divided by cos 42 equals much easier. All right, last thing. We are now going to look at angles. So in order to solve angles, you guys all remember that you use the inverse, right? Use inverse. So in order to solve the angle when tan theta is equal to 5 over 6, I use the inverse of tan, and it's 5 over 6. OK, so what is the tan inverse of 5 over 6? Well, let's start with a good calculator. Now. We do the tan inverse, brackets already started, 5 divided by 6, and the bracket, close the bracket, because 5 divided by 6 is the same as 5 over 6. That's what fractions are. Fractions are just another way to show division without actually doing it. Hope that didn't confuse you too much. 39.8, uh, done. OK, other calculator. Take this calculator, and now what we have to do is we're first of all going to do 5 divided by 6. So 5 divided by 6. Now, if I don't hit equals right now, things get messed up. If I do hit equals right now, great. I've just divided it. I hit the shift 10, and it spits out my answer. If I do, though, 5 divided by 6 and hit shift 10, what just happened there? Well, right there, it's now just taking the inverse 10 of 6. It didn't do the division first, it did the inverse tan first. And when I hit equals, things get ugly. So make sure that when you've got one of these junky calculators, and sorry, Texas Instruments, I don't mean that. I mean, this is a good Texas Instrument. I mean, get one that has a display up there. So when you've got one of those or one of these, you can actually see it. And you can just hit second 10 of 5 divided by 6. or Second 10 of 5 over 6. You can use your fraction button here, too. Gives you the same thing. So go ahead and get yourself a good calculator, or get your parents to get you one, and get to work.